how do you taste blended scotch whiskey? First of all, you need to use a glass, not just any glass, a Capita nosing glass. You'll see from the shape of this one, it is quite different from this one. Because what you want to do, unlike this shape, you want to get into the whiskey to assess it. So what you must do is take the bottle, pour it into the glass, swirl it around, as I said to you before, throw it out. Because you want to get rid of any odours that are perhaps on the lip of the glass. Swirl it around, bring it up and say, hello. Then you go back to it, how are you? And then go back to it, quite well, thank you very much. Now remember, get into it. Don't go like this, none of this stuff. You want to get right into it to make sure that you're actually examining every part of that whiskey. How do you taste it? Don't knock it back like a cowboy. Take the water, but don't just pick up a jug like this. What you need to do is to pick up a jug with your finger in the water. Why? Because you want to test it. Why do you want to test it? Because many barmen, unfortunately, stick their jug under a hot tap by mistake. And therefore, this is what ruins whiskey. Six times I've now ruined my whiskey. Six times. Twice in America, once in France, once in Stockholm, and twice in England. So, you take the still water, you put it into the whiskey, reduce it down to 35% alcohol. 35% alcohol is the ideal strength for really bringing out the whiskey in the palate. Put in the mouth. And then let it go down. Absolutely fantastic. If in fact I hadn't added sufficient water, what would happen? This is what would happen. Your face would start grimacing. It would start changing because it was affecting the taste buds, anaesthetizing them. So all you need is a little water. When I have a presentation, finish at night, want to relax, go into the bar, there's nothing more wonderful than the sound of whiskey being poured by the barman into a glass. And just when I'm about to take the glass from him to enjoy my whiskey, suddenly I hear this other noise. This other noise of not just one or two bits of ice, but many bits. This is now scotch on the rocks. This is taking my whiskey, ruining it with all this ice. In the olden days when there was no ice, the Scots had to improvise. So what did they do? They went to the riverbeds. They took the cold rocks that had been chilled by the mountain snows. They put that into the whiskey and that chilled it. And that's why we call it Scotch on the Rocks. All I'm saying to you is this. If you're ever in a bar and you want to try and enjoy your whiskey this way, don't take it. Take hold of the barman and show him what it's all about. Yeah, chuck it away. You don't need it. Now we're going to move on to the 22. Now, just want to guide you a wee bit here. When we talk about the 13, 19, 22, these whiskies are really beginning to settle down. You're going to be seeing uh, nuances of Christmas cake. Christmas cake, chocolate. You're going to see a lovely creamy caramel, but you're going to see that citrus orange, that sort of citrus orange peel, the, the rind of the orange slowly but surely emerging. And the White of Mackay Supreme 22 years old is really no exception. Once again, give it respect. You don't need the water because this is pure liquid gold. This is 22 karat gold in its own way. Don't put too much of this in the carpet because it's becoming quite expensive. But what you're going to see about this one is immediately that weight. And remember, we're not talking about a big muscular man. We're just talking about the, the weight of the lovely individual component parts that have gone in here. Once again, I've called upon the Speyside Valley to really give it that charm, that elegance, to give it that softness. The citrus fruits, the sort of marmalade spice notes, the honey towards the end but it's all in there. Remember, when you nose it, it's what you get in the mouth. Unlike wine, you can get it sometimes an imbalance. But for whiskey, give it time. Hold it there, hold it there. And by the way, just when we're talking about it, if I ever see you having to take the glass like this and warming it in that same way, I'll get two fingers, stick it in your eyes once again. What you need to do is to keep your hand well aware and let it sort of open up in the lovely surrounding air site. You know, this is for drinking late at night. This is for 
talking to people, to share with people, having a lovely coffee, Colombian, Nicaragua, Java coffee. One mouthful, let it go down. Take another mouthful of that coffee, let it go down. Take the whiskey, put it in your mouth, hold it there, let it go down. And then go and get some chocolate, bitter chocolate. Not just any kind of chocolate. 86% cocoa fat. Let that melt in your mouth. And that will slowly melt, combine with the whiskey, and combine with the coffee. What do you get? A multiple orgasm. So don't forget that one either. Certainly you ladies too. Right, okay. So what we need to do is to take this lovely white Mackay, 22 years old, all these citrus fruits that I mentioned. 22, 22 karat gold, no question. White Mackay Supreme, 22 years old.